Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a really basic um, makeup style that's really helpful for you doing classic portraits and photography. Really simple, nice and elegant, and doesn't take too much. I've got all my stuff right here. So first thing you want to do is put on all your basic, basic makeup, um, mainly just your foundation. Don't put on any eyeliner or anything because we're going to be going over that. So the first thing you do is you take dark eyeliner. I use Rimmel London in denim blue. You can see that. There you go. Um, but you can really use any sort of dark eyeliner. I use blue instead of black or brown because it's the same darkness, but it adds a little bit more interest. So we're going to put that on our waterline. If you don't know what your waterline is, it's this inner part of your eyelid. And it, it keeps it from getting like a space between your eyeliner and your eye that I find really distracting and it looks more natural. So we're going to line our waterline. This very often takes a few coats. I'm going to do the other one. So we got that. I'm going to take some white. White is a really nice eyeliner to have on hand. You can use it to just make your eyes look brighter. You line your eyes, it makes your eyes look bigger. I'm going to put a little bit right on the inside here. Just a little line along there. It'll just help brighten up your eyes some more. So you hardly even notice it. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take some gold. I use Jane Ising in Goldie Looks. It's really nice. It's just a powder, really shimmery. I love it. I use it all the time. I'm going to take the big end of my brush, swirl it in there, and put it over my entire eyelid. All the way up to the brow bone. The other eye. Poke myself in the eye, sorry about that. Not used to doing this backwards. And then we're going to take the smaller end. And we're going to swirl it around in there, get a whole bunch of the powder on there, and use it to line our lid on the top there. Make a few coats of that, and then your entire lid will be shimmery, but right along the edge will be bright gold. There we go. Another thing you can do to make this more suited for the evening screw that on, is add a little bit of brown. It doesn't really matter what color brown you use. I'm using just some brown out of a really basic large palette of eyeshadows I got a few years ago. So we're going to take some brown. I'm going to put that just right on top of the gold even you can do. I'm even going to put a little black on top of that, more along the crease, to add a more dramatic look. And then 
bit of gold over that. I'm just gonna kind of pat it on. So you still get, you see the brown? A shimmer of gold through it. And a shimmer of gold on top of it. So there we have the eyes done. It's maybe hard to see this video is not that great, but trust me, it looks nice. Oops, letters will not go on. Whatever. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. First thing you wanna do is put some lip balm on. Um, I say balm, not gloss, because you don't want something sticky. I really like this, it's really beat up. Um, but it's Save Our Lips brand in green tea. Really wonderful on your lips. I put some on before the video so it had time to soak in. So, put a little bit of that on. And I normally use two different lipstick colors for this. We have a darker base one. This is an Avon in Passionate Plum. It's like a purpley color. And we don't want this looking really thick like we have put lipstick on. So what you're going to do is you put the lip balm on first. And you're going to take your color and pat it on. This allows the pigment to get on there, but your natural lip lip texture still shows through. It looks much more natural. Like your lips are just naturally this color. And then I take bright red. This is true red of L'Oreal. I actually bought it for a presentation I was doing on flappers. Me and a friend of mine dressed up as flappers, little black dresses. We had short haircuts at the time. We put on a whole bunch of red lipsticks. I've got a bunch of left over. I'm gonna tap this on. And this I'm going to focus on putting in the middle and moving out. More in the middle. Just like when you apply a lip gloss, if you add just a little bit to the center of your bottom lip and then just press, it makes your lips look fuller. See how simple that was? You have a really nice, simple makeup. It's really nice for classic portraits. Let's see if we can get more light in here. You can maybe see it. We've got our lips, eyes, and then you can put your powder on over top. You can always increase the amount of makeup you're wearing or put less for whatever you're doing. You can play around with the colors, but this is something nice and simple. Very elegant looking when you have it all done and you're not doing it in a very poorly lit room like I am. But hopefully that'll help you out and you can go out and look beautiful. A few more tips that I forgot to add. Um, I said don't use lip gloss when you're before you put on your lipstick, but after lipstick soaks in a bit, you can. So I'm using Beauty Rush. It's from Victoria's Secret. It smells amazing. You can put a little bit of that, like I said, put it a little bit in the middle, kind of spread it all bit to the sides, and it adds a really nice shine to it. And once the lipstick kind of sinks in and the pigment sets, you can just apply um, lip gloss over it and lip, um, lip balm chapstick over it in case you're like where I am and it's super dry and in the middle of winter and you kind of need chapstick. Also, another tip for eyes, another way to brighten them up. Take your brush and take a really light eye color. This is almost like a white. And you apply it just to this little inside of your eye. Because it's lighter there, it helps draw your eyes in. And it makes your eyes look bigger and brighter and fresher, like you're young and you just got 12 hours of sleep. So there's just some little extra tips for you that I forgot to add. 